Kung Cash's iPhone TV here with Oscar De La Hoya. Welcome to the UK, Oscar. Thank you, thank you. Pleasure yeah. being here. Did you get here today or last night? Uh, yesterday. Yeah? Yesterday. Been clubbing it in London? No, no, no. No time, no time. I wish I did, but no time. Uh, <clears throat> too cold, but uh, it's always a pleasure being here. It's, it's always really nice uh, to come out to London and, uh, and be with the fans. Uh, I wish I had more time because I would definitely love to go out to the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> May 7th, uh, Cinco de Mayo weekend, it doesn't get much bigger than Canelo Khan. Where did this fight come from, Oscar? You know what? I, it's like they say, I mean, you put, you pull the rabbit out of the hat. Well, just call me a magician. <laughs> uh, we were, we were um, I think the world was shocked when we announced this fight. Nobody ever expected it. And uh, But that's what Golden Boy is all about. I mean, bringing... I mean, Amir, Amir is one of the best fighters out there. He really is. And he deserves the big events. And the fact that Mayweather didn't want to fight him, the, Mac, the fact that Pacquiao would give the runaround. I'm, look, when I've thought about this fight, I, I, I text uh, Amir Khan and said, hey, let's make it happen. What do you think? Text me back two days later and he said, I'm in. I'll beat him. So that, 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 that there to me proves that that Amir Khan is is a, is a warrior. He's a, he, he has that fighting spirit, and he and, and he believes that he's going to win. So this fight was made at 155 pounds, um, so five pounds below the middleweight limit. Yeah. But how do you think Amir Khan will adapt to that? Uh, I, I believe um, Amir Khan said he walks around at 170, 165. Um, Amir Khan's a big kid. I was very surprised uh, that they were the same height, uh, or I think Amir Khan was a little taller. Um, that shocked me actually, but um, so this is a classic case of speed versus power. A classic case of uh, of who has the, that willingness to win, and I believe um, Canelo, Canelo and Khan uh, are, are going to go out there and just give us a great fight, and that's what the fans deserve. You believe the winner of this fight will go on to face Triple G? Well, I mean, eventually that fight's going to happen. There's no there's no reason for it not to happen. There's no doubt about it that it's not going to happen. I believe that. Uh, the winner of this fight, uh, you know, we do have a rematch clause, and there's a rematch clause for a reason because, um, look, I mean, this is not, this is not a walk in the park for anybody. Hello? Again, speed versus power, Sugar Ray Leonard, Hagler, Pacquiao, De La Hoya, uh, the list goes on and on and on and on, and um, you can never underestimate anybody. So uh, all we have to do is is is, is watch on May seventh, and uh, and we'll see who wins. Final question, Oscar, uh, the proposals to put professionals into the Olympics, what's your thoughts on that? Double-edged sword for me because, A, you're taking away that, that dream from, from, from a young lad who, who, who has the dream and the aspiration, who has, who has that, that drive to become an Oscar de la Hoya who won the gold medal. <coughs> A George Foreman who, who won the Olympic gold in Mexico. You're taking away that dream. But at the same time, if, if you let professionals uh, in the Olympics, just like every other sport is doing, then, then you're giving that country, whether you represent Mexico, UK, um, you're giving that country that better chance of bringing back the gold. So... That's exactly the reason why I think it's a double-edged sword, you know. So I believe that the powers uh, that be uh, will will hopefully make the right decision. And as regards to the undercard, sorry, changing the subjects there for May the seventh, um, still working on that? Yeah, we're still working on that. I mean, Golden Boy Promotions is known to to put on some spectacular fights, some uh, big name fighters, and uh, this is going to be no exception. I and mean, we have we have a few tricks up our sleeve uh, come May seventh, and. Uh, we already ordered um, extra beer for all the uh, UK fans and all the Mexicans that will show up in uh, in Vegas. Will Luis Ortiz be on the bill? We're we're working on that. We're talking about it. He has a, a fight coming up uh, uh, next week, uh, which is against uh, Tony Thompson on HBO. Uh, so uh, we'll see how he comes out, and uh, and I'm hoping that we can possibly put him on. It'll be it'll be a great addition to uh, 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 one of the biggest uh, fights uh, in the history of the sport. All right, Oscar, thank you very much for the Thank you. TV. Oh. Thank you.